Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install E36 rear subframe bushings into your uh, rear subframe and also the front diff carrier bushing. So before we begin the actual install, I'm just going to go over the different durometers we offer when it comes to the bushings. Uh, durometer means just how stiff the bushing is. So we have 80A, which is our red. Uh, we have 95A, which is the blue line. Then we have Delrin, which is black, and aluminum, which uh, is a bare metal, kind of like similar to this color. So check out the description of each durometer to find out which is going to better suit your build. So for video purposes, we are actually using a subframe that's already out, uh, powder coated, ready to go. Uh, if you want a full detail on how to remove the subframe from your car, how to remove the bushings, there'll be a link in the description below. Uh, but for now, let's continue with this. So one of the things you're gonna notice when you have your subframe out is the different diameter on the inside of the races. Ours match the factory ones. Uh, so the one thing to know, the bigger diameter one is gonna go on the rear of the subframe, the smaller diameter goes on the front of the subframe. So that's the main key when it comes to the races. As for the bushings, they're all labeled. They all have a lower rear or all have a lower front. So you won't get mixed up with the bushings. The one thing I recommend is when you're actually installing them is position the subframe how it actually goes in the car. So for example, this is the front of the subframe and this is the top of the subframe. So you want to position it that way so it's a little easier to know where the bushing is going to go because you know this is your front, this is the rear, and this is the top, and then this is the bottom. So because it is the 88 durometer, it's a little easier to install versus the aluminum or the Delrin where you might need a press or possibly a mallet and smack them in. Uh, probably going to need a press to install the aluminum ones. So this one is the lower rear. So this is the rear, this is the lower, and you can kind of see just by hand, it can kind of go on. So this is the uh, top rear. So it's gonna go on here, and that goes in. And then rear takes the bigger inside diameter raise. Just push that in. So you might need a rubber mallet just to kind of tap it in, get it a little bit flush on both sides. So it's nice and flush there. Flip it over, flush there. And then just continue the same with the rest. A little bit. There we go. Use some damn safety glass. <laughs> now, exact same thing for the front ones, but for the top, we actually have a grooved part on the bushing to sit in place of the weld. So you'll just line that up with the weld, push it in, done. Take the bottom one, push it in. Now the race, and then that's it. Back to the other one, so same thing. Line up the little groove with the weld. There it goes. Take the bottom one that says lower front, put it in, race. There you go. So that's it for the bushings. Next, I'm gonna show you how to do the uh, front diff carrier. All right, so now it's time for the uh, front diff carrier bushing. This one is uh, it's pretty easy, nothing to it. Uh, you can start it by hand. We see this, we still have a little bit of stick out. So from here, I actually like to use a uh, specialty tool to press it in all the way. You can try and just keep smacking it all the way in a little harder, but I like using my tool. So you can see I rigged up a little chingadera here just to got the bushing press all the way. So you can see the gap is closed. Now when you back it off, it is gonna open up a tiny bit. So you can see it there.
So the bushing is tapered, uh, and that's on purpose. It adds more strength to the lip. So that's why it gets pushed back a little bit. Once it's installed, it'll probably stay there or it'll go in just a little bit more. So there you have it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, nothing to it. Everything is labeled for you. Just remember, bigger inside diameter goes in the rear of the subframe. The smaller inside diameter goes in the front of the subframe. Other than that, straightforward. Thanks for watching. Tune in for more videos.